are classified into many types based upon their size and speed. The fastest and most expensive computers are supercomputers. They are large and have multiple CPUs so can handle many instructions in parallel. They are used for complex calculations such as weather forecasting, nuclear science, rocket launching, etc. Some examples of supercomputers are Summit, Sierra, Deep Blue, and param made by CDAC in India. Next are mainframe computers. They are designed to handle huge volumes of data and information. While supercomputers are typically focused to perform few critical tasks, mainframes perform multiple instructions in parallel for multiple users. They also have multiple processors, hence are fast and expensive. They are typically used by large organizations for bulk data processing. Some examples are IBM Z, Univac, etc. Mini computers are also called as mid-range servers. They lie somewhere between mainframe and micro computers. They are typically multi-user system and have more memory and larger storage capacity than micro computers. They are used as web servers, database servers, gaming servers. Examples are Magnum, Wax, etc. Microcomputers typically are single CPU, single user system used at home, office, school, shops. They are further categorized as personal computers, workstations, laptops, mobiles, embedded computers. The personal or desktop PCs are the most common computers with monitor, keyboard and mouse typically kept on a desk. They are used for browsing or gaming, learning and small business use. Workstations are like desktop computers but have more powerful CPU with higher memory and processing powers. They are more expensive and are used for doing some niche work like designing, animation and complex mathematical calculations. Laptops are portable computers which integrate all components of a computer into the size of a notebook. Hence, they are also sometimes called as notebook computers. Today, we have smartphones and touchscreen tablets which can easily be carried anywhere. While they were initially meant for limited capability, but now they are used for gaming, video and high-end cameras. Many of the devices today have an embedded small computer like smart TVs, watches, cars, microwaves. They are typically programmed to perform some set tasks required as per the device.